Hi everyone, this is Sridhar from iLink Systems Private Limited. I work as a software developer here. So my area of interest are WPF, WCF, Windows Azure and uh, cloud computing. So in this session, I am going to take uh, authentication in WCF services. So let me take you to a quick overview of this session. So what is authentication? Authentication is a process of identifying an individual based on a username and a password. There are lots of authentication mechanisms provided by uh, WCF but we are going to mainly focus on two techniques which is ASP.NET membership and a custom username password implementation and at, the la at last I will take you to the summary uh, of my uh, presentation. So. Uh, let me first see what is ASP.NET membership. So ASP.NET membership allows the user to create a uh, unique pass uh, username and password combinations. Any user can establish their account in a website and uh, gain exclusive access to the sites and services. As, as a contrast to Windows security, uh, which uh, is ma in Windows security, uh, I mean, which is mandatory to have an account in Windows domain. Uh, in ASP.NET, it is not uh, such a case. Mm, the user can create uh, their uh, own account based on the username and password independent of any domain. So, uh, this is one of the cool features of uh, ASP.NET membership. So, the membership. Uh, also uses SQL Server database uh, as a backend for storing user related information. And there is also another uh, cool feature in uh, ASP.NET membership which is uh, forgot password. Uh, once they uh, at any situation if the user forgets the password uh, he or she can uh, retrieve the, their password information by using a security answer or security question as it happens to be in uh, most uh, online security Mac mechanisms so okay okay let's uh, next go to the uh, steps to implement ASP.NET membership in uh, WCF uh, it is probably divided into three steps configuring the ASP.NET membership and uh, configuring the security service security to accept the username and password combination and finally configuring the service to use membership provider so let me first take you to configuring the membership provider once you have the membership database in sql server it is very easy to configure the membership provider in wcf you should go under system.web element and create a new membership element under the membership element create a providers element and in the providers element add a clear statement to flush the collection of providers it is always mandatory then you can add your uh, own uh, uh, i mean uh, membership element which contains name type connection string name application name name in the name uh, is used uh, in the code behind in C sharp while uh, writing our uh, writing our code behind logic so type is, uh, uh, type stands for the namespace which is used for uh, membership the connection string is uh, the connection used to uh, establish the connection between the WCF application and the SQL database application name is the WCF application name and uh, enable password retrieval uh, this is very useful when uh, the user forgets the password and uh, the admin enable password reset for at uh, some point of time is if the user uh, uh, forgets the password or something bad happens uh, the admin can reset the password and uh, so there is another features like other properties like request question and answer this is also useful uh, when the user forgets the password the user can give their security question and answer and once they forgot the password at any point of time the uh, the security uh, question will blow up and uh, if the user tells the correct answer which uh, he gave during registration then um, uh, the user is able to retrieve the password so requires unique email this is also important because uh, it tells the membership that uh, each user who are uh, who else is registering into the 
uh, ASP.NET membership should have a unique uh, email ID so this is on uh, the next one is the password format uh, I think the password format in the sense that the password should be alphanumeric or it should be completely characters numbers uh, we can define uh, any possible combinations it is up to the developer to uh, design uh, the logic so let me take you to a quick example of uh, the web config element uh, for configuring the membership so here is the membership element uh, inside the system dot web uh, inside the system dot web and uh, the default provider is SQL server membership and the users in online uh, it tells uh, users in online time window means uh, maximum number of users the membership can handle uh, when they are online is 15 so we can set uh, to any number uh, as per the requirement so inside the providers element first of all as I mentioned I am clearing the collection so and then I am adding a new SQL membership provider so the name is SQL membership provider this is the name which we are going to use uh, uh, in the rest of our module so then the type is system.web.security.sql membership provider that is the namespace and the correction string name is SQL con and uh, 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 it is a separate connection string uh, in web.config element so the application name uh, is membership uh, usually the WCF name application name and uh, we want to I disable the enable password uh, retrieval and enable password reset and uh, request quest, uh, question and answer to false and uh, request in unique email to true because that is uh, more mandatory so the password format is normally hashed I mean in, uh, in case the password is encrypted it is always not a good idea to store our password and clear text in uh, SQL server so it uh, uh, it should be hashed so next uh, let me take you to configuring the service to accept the username and password combination this is the most important thing uh, and uh, you know in this we are going to configure the service to accept the username and password from the user so for this uh, you should go under system dot service model element and add a bindings element so and basically you now we are using wshttp bindings so and uh, in that wshttp binding element set the security mode security element to message and set the client credential type attribute of the message to username this specifies that a username and password pair will be used as a client credential so here is a small example of a configuration file as I mentioned uh, inside the system dot service model there is a bindings element and we are using WSSTDB binding and the binding name is a membership binding and the, yes we have set the security mode to message and the message credential type is username which uh, which uh, makes the WCF service uh, to accept the username and password pair as a client credential so now finally we want to configure the service to use the membership provider so in order to do that inside the system dot service model add a behavior element inside the behavior element there is a section called service behaviors and inside the service behavior you should define another behavior and a name which should have an uh, uh, unique behavior name and add a client credentials element uh, this is service so I'm sorry service credentials element to the behaviors element inside the service credential element you should add a username authentication element and set the username password validation mode to membership so this is all done uh, this is uh, the way you will configure the service to use uh, a membership provider it is very pretty simple uh, you know so let me take you to an example of a con of, a, of configuring a service to use a membership look uh, how simple it is uh, we are having a behaviors element inside that we are having service behaviors 
and we have the behaviors name as my service behavior and uh, inside that we have service credentials element and we have a username authentication in which the username and password validation mode is set to membership provider so and the membership provider name is sql membership provider which we have provided in the membership element under system.webconfig uh, to for clarification if i go to slide number uh, this in this we have given uh, the membership name as sql membership provider here so this is the same name which we are going to use while configuring our service behavior right here so that's why the name is more important so so now it is all done let me complete look at a complete code of our uh, web config file and uh, trace how it looks like so here is our complete web config code uh, look inside the service model we have a service name called we uh, my service behavior and uh, the service name is calculator service and we have an endpoint and we have a ws http binding a binding configuration as my uh, membership binding as we have mentioned in um, um not this slide uh as we have mentioned in uh slide number yeah here we have provided a membership binding so we need to configure that uh in the endpoint element so that's why this um membership binding comes into picture and uh, inside the behaviors element we have service behaviors and the behavior name is my service behavior as we have mentioned in step three this is the step three part and finally uh, this is the bindings element uh, which is uh, used right here so uh, probably this is uh, it is very simple to implement uh, asp.net uh, membership provider in wcf now let me take you to a quick demo of uh, asp.net membership authentication in wcf